Oh, She's looking at the net like there's a big hole in it. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, Four o'clock in the morning. We are heading out. We are stopping to get gas. But we are heading out with Rachel to do some commercial crabbing. And um, I'm pretty excited. Crab started really early this year and she's been out. So we are ready to get away from these gas. I got my goddamn phone by these gas pumps. Um, but we are ready to go. I'll see you when it gets a little bit lighter. I've been doing a lot of stuff first thing in the morning, but get the boat ready, get everything done. We'll, we'll get to you as soon as we get out on the water, get some light. bright and early and mostly every time that we leave I mean it's dark there's sunshine right there <laughs> and one thing she's upset about right now is that when she oysters she has to take her canopy off so she has no overhead and today they might be calling for some rain first thing in the morning I think she's a little upset about that <laughs> so we should be pretty good we got our rain gear on just in case um, but like I said, we start, she's got her plotters. Um, right now, there is just a crap ton of boats out where she's at. So um, usually she gets a spot and that's where she goes every day. Um, but because it's really early in the season and everybody's really trying to hunt for the crabs and are getting ready to come in. And uh, we have a full moon, I believe, somewhere. I think the clouds have put it away. So the clouds are here and um and they're coming in the shed so the boats are moving trying to follow they're following the crab right now um but once we got some cold weather it's going to be probably highs of 50 today so it's not like that winter cold um so we're not bundled up as it's going to be a winter cold morning um because right now it don't feel it don't feel bad at all right now i don't think well she's a woman they're usually freezing look she's freezing her her buns off um, but it's not that bad. Right now, the wind don't feel like it's um, blowing. So what we do this morning, usually, like I was explaining, that they have, she has an area where she goes pretty much every morning, and it's her line, it's her set usually, and if most of the guys will stay away, um, they got their set, and everybody, I mean, they move a little bit, um, maybe a little bit shoulder, a little bit closer to, or a little bit deeper, um, but right now she's got about ten boats circled around her, and she has to figure out a way to set her line, which is about 3,600 feet. She's going to have one line that's 2400 and she's going to have one that's 1200 and she's got to make sure that she don't cross anybody or and legally she's got to be a hundred foot away from their buoy which as she was just mentioning they would rather you be 200 foot away which i get you want to have room you know sometimes the tide will put a bow in your line and that can just be a habit which i totally understand there's just a lot of boats in a small area right now yeah they're calling for some rain around 11 o'clock um it looks pretty clear It'd be nice if we get lucky and it don't rain but we got the rain gear now this is wherever she's going to decide to set and hopefully we don't set over anybody Line. 
this is the, this is them recreational kind of time to be laying. All right, so trout lining. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your weight down. You're gonna lay the weight down, and then it's gonna go run down to her billy. We had a weight. If you can notice, it's pretty light out, and she's just laying her lines out. You just had to figure out where everybody was. Now that we finally figure where everybody's at, we'll be good. So you got the billies going to run to the chain, and what that chain does, it keeps the the bait actually on the bottom, okay? And it's going to run. To, it's going to run the same way. You're going to run the line. Uh, she's going to have 2,400 feet. 1200 foot and a 1200 foot line right here and if they're attached and uh she'll have a weight uh the chain on the other end of this to the buoy to the weight just very up all right so every once so what she'll do every once in a while she'll grab that line now she's getting ready to switch Each line is hooked to, together like that, so it attaches to the other line. And me, I'm just trying to stay out of the way. Is that Walter right there? Yeah. Thought she was going to use her shoulder. Get ready to give her a swift kick in the. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so she's using a boat now. To actually, just tighten her line up. Make sure it's tight. Make sure throw the weight in. And there you go. 25, 2400 foot set. So the one line that she has is going to be running kind of deep in 20 foot, around 20 foot, average around 20 foot, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, it's 20 to 50. And because we think the crabs are going in the shed, they're going to go. They call it shoal. Us chicken eckers call it shallow. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. And uh, so we're going to go a little shallow. I guess you're going to go in anywhere between anything shallower than 20 foot. Um, anything shallower than 20 foot. So we got we got Mr. Walter over there. We're running off. We're going to. That's the anchor point to run from his line. We have another boat right there. Notice she's she's rushing because usually by now she's already did about two runs already. Yeah, right. You know, so you, this uh, er, early start. Late start. <laughs> late, late start. start. I'm, told, I'm talking early season. Yeah. Early season, everybody's congregate congregated in one area.
copyright claim. All because of Rachel. Copyright. Time for what? ACDC playing in the back. Uh, <laughs> I guess my morning started. No, you're good. You're good. I think so. Oh, crabbing's so wonderful. So if you notice how that line is really, really far down. She's going up. She's got to now, she's got to tighten it up a little bit. So she's going to come down to our anchor and she's going to pick it up. And if you notice, she's going to let her boat do all the work. She'll bring her anchor up and then she'll tighten it up. It's the same thing as you don't want her to break. You don't want to break the line. You don't want something to come off the boat like that roller right there because their day would end today. All right, so it's starting really slow this morning where we've done one full run and I only caught two crabs. And we were so excited because we seen the crab come up, but she swung and missed. <laughs> She's looking at the net like there's a big hole in it. <laughs> what happened? <happens? laughs> like it was the net's fault. Yeah, she, I think she was just so surprised to see a crab. So it's starting slow. I know that uh, her friend right next to us said um, it started a little bit later, mid-morning. Um, so, you know, we just, you just gotta keep running them though. That's, whether you're catching one or two, one or two uh, a pass, you still gotta, you still gotta keep getting it. But we can't miss any. Or you mean, wait a minute, wait, she can't miss any. <laughs> so she's debating whether to, now as a recreational guy, you know, sometimes if it's slow, you go through your pass and you might catch one crab Sometimes what we'll do is that we'll let it sit for, we'll grab a sandwich and we'll sit and we'll let it soak. Um, but she thinks about doing it. I know some of the other guys do it, but um, about, cause I think we've caught one crab. I think you just got another one. Yeah, I didn't miss that one. She didn't miss that one. <laughs> hmm. um, but it's slow. It's slow this morning, but I told her maybe you ought to just run this last one and maybe take about 15 minutes and just let them sit and soak for a little bit and see how that works out because we know by talking to the other guys that they're not they're not they don't start running until about mid-morning like nine or ten o'clock yeah we got flood tide at ten yesterday is what it was flood tide was at nine and they got moving on that flood tide uh, you ever seen when they swim up to your bait and they're circling that bait and then they oh, disappear cool. yeah so we got three we got three crabs on that run and we let the line sit we're on fire. Oh, it's picking up. I lost count. I think I was on seven, eight. Yeah, that's, like, that's actually pretty good. Huh? Oh, 
Look how rusty that crap is. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. How rusty. Yeah, man. That was actually a good run. Trot lining, don't want to say trout before I hear anybody give me a hard time. <laughs> so it's starting to rain now, so we're getting some rain coming in. And it's supposed to get worse as the day goes on. But not shouldn't stay here long, but maybe about an hour. But it's starting to slowly drizzle now. Uh oh, two back to back. I need somebody to do a crappy dance. <laughs> Damn it. Sam don't dance. Sam will look like he's having an epileptic fit. Three in a row. Count. Oh, did you get him? Yep. What I got. Now I want you to know that usually when I'm with her, I'm calling crabs all day, you know, to help her out. But since we're only catching a couple at a time, and we're at a lot of times earlier in the year, man, you really, you, you really get them bigger crabs. So we're talking, and she's like, she, she's a, she is actually apologizing to me. Uh, I'm sorry about the weather. Sorry about the weather, because look at her. She's cold underneath there. She's freezing. I mean, it's about, I would say it's about 40, maybe. maybe. It just don't, it's not that winter cold 40 feel, like that really cold nipply 40. You know, that if the, if the sun was out right now, it would be warmer. It wouldn't be that bad. It's that damn cold. Yeah, it's damn cold. And I keep telling myself, well, we can't make videos of it looking like it's the most <laughs> dreamy job in the world. You gotta make sure, you, you know, you come out here, whether it's, I mean, yesterday she was out and you had, how much, how much was the wind yet last? You had 20, 20 plus? Yeah, at least, yeah. So you had 20 with gust, and you're talking, you know, you're now you're dealing with the waves and you're dealing with the cold and the wind, and you gotta run, you gotta run your line. I said, no, you gotta show people that you're just not out here, you know, fair weather crabber. You come out here in the crappy weather too. The worst part about it is that she don't have a canopy. Um, and you know what I can do? See, I can come in here where there's heat. And I can look at her while she's freezing and say, woo, it's warm in here. <laughs> So now it's really starting to rain. So you gotta take the good with the bad. And it's, she is definitely missing her canopy. But as you can see, it's raining, raining pretty good. <laughs> 